Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. We're going to talk about Rooster Teeth and co-founder Joel Heyman and how he's no longer with the company. Joel's no longer with Rooster Teeth. So it's interesting. Nobody picked up on this. None of the media outlets picked up on it. It actually I had a couple of people tweet it uh, to me that Joel was no longer with the company. I know people have speculated for a while whether or not uh, he's there but uh, he's no longer there. He confirmed it himself in a reply. But Rooster Teeth didn't make any kind of announcement that he was gone. Uh, other employees left and they thanked them. They made a big flowery speech about, oh, thank you for your time and yada, yada, yada. But uh, here we go. You know, he's, he's not with the company. Um, so I don't know if he got laid off last year when the company restructured or what happened, but we're going to look into uh, the situation with Joel. Uh, before we get into it, I got to give a hat tip to Eruption Fang, uh, who actually uh, is one of the only people talking about it. Uh, again, this was really kind of buried, but this is coming from Joel himself on Twitter. Uh, he answered a couple of people. He said, I was laid off after making tens of millions of dollars for others. When I started, I had no health care for 401k or salary, worked harder than what anyone can know. I basically stopped coming in after a thing. I had my reasons for that, but it's a long deal. Despite some health care problems with no health insurance, I managed to move back to L.A. Despite a global pandemic and riots, I'm somehow still breathing. Um, did it have anything to do with your political opinions not aligning with everyone else's there? It seems like everyone there is super far left, and I wondered if a conservative would be treated uh, differently. Was it? Was it what was going on with him? Uh, who knows? So this is a thread out on Reddit that he's no longer with the company. Um, this is uh, this is someone here saying, copying the comment from our Rooster Teeth. Honestly, good. I used to think he was one of my favorite Rooster Teeth personalities, but the dude is, is effing insane between wishing for cancer uh, to win in reference to McCain, saying that Jack's leftist friends will burn Jack's house down, saying that someone should break into Gavin's house and teach him about gun control after the Vega. Oh, boy. Um, his rants about being underappreciated in the company. Well, if he's a co-founder, uh, his right-wing conspiracies... He constantly retweeted racist stuff. Uh, Joel Heyman has been a very controversial figure, arguably the most controversial, for Rooster Teeth for a long time now. His conspiracies, his lack of concerns for friends, and overall bad vibe, to put it gently, I wonder what will become of some of his voice acting roles. Joel is problematic. Um, is Gray still involved with Genlock? No. No, Gray is no longer with with uh, Rooster Teeth. In fact, we had people coming to us behind the scenes, animation uh, folks behind the scenes who had worked at Rooster Teeth and said that actually a lot of the problems that Rooster Teeth was having last year that led to layoffs uh, were because of, of Gray. Um, people did not like working with him. He went over budget. That's what we were hearing. Again, I can't confirm it uh, because I didn't work there. But that's what we were hearing. So no, he's no longer there either. So it seems like a lot of the, the uh, old guard are no longer with the company. Of course, you know, Monty passed away. Um, you know, it does seem like they were kind of phasing Joel out. In fact, I, I found a thread from two years ago where they were asking if he was even part of the company anymore. Sounds like he just stopped coming in. Now, maybe as as a uh, co-founder, he has the right to, to get paid and not actually show up. I don't know. But it's kind of interesting to see that he left, uh, apparently not on very good terms, and that Rooster Teeth said nothing about it. Not even thanks. Uh, thanks for helping us start this company. You know, now some people are going to find Joel's political opinions probably problematic. Uh, I'm sure. I'm out checking his Twitter. And, uh, you know, he's 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 got some unpopular hot takes, you know, on things right now, uh, current year. So that might have had something to do with it. Possibly, maybe. I don't know, because here we have some other folks on Reddit. They're like, he's been getting more and more controversial as the years went by. Uh, he's been insensitive. Uh, instead of comforting them, Joel told them to buy a gun. Uh, then there was a situation where he wished McCain would die. Um, more recently, he's been retweeting some videos 
Uh, he became controversial amongst the company and was warned about it from what I recall. It doesn't matter how much money you bring the company. If they think you're becoming problematic, they have every right to want to cut ties with you. But why, you know, again, they didn't say anything about it, though. You'd think, you'd think if that were the case, well, maybe they knew there'd be blowback, you know, given the audience, uh, you know, for Red versus Blue or whatever. But y you would think that they would come out and say, hey, we parted ways with Joel. Um, thanks for making us tens of millions of dollars. Uh, we wish you the best. But apparently that is not what happened. So there's a lot of weird stuff going on again with uh, Rooster Teeth. And we're not sure if this is... You know, Warner Media trying to get this division slimmed down, um, getting it ready to be absorbed into Cartoon Network Studios. Uh, that is a theory we've heard for a while now. Uh, Rooster Teeth, of course, they laid a bunch of people off last year. You know, 13% of its staff. Um, it does seem like they've got more involvement with uh, people from Cartoon Network. I guess Elation is working more closely with them now and they're producing content for hbo max i mean it looks like genlock is basically uh, going to, to hbo max first but uh, dc comics just went ahead and canceled the print finales of of ruby and genlock now some people tried to argue with us that they didn't cancel the series these were the finales they were out digitally but they weren't even gonna bother printing them so i have to wonder if with all of the bad news around rooster teeth and all of the uh, old guard being gone from Rooster Teeth. Like, what What do they have left? You know, they've got Ruby, but Ruby seems to be on the decline. And then we had the Vic Mignogna situation, which was very controversial. And uh, I, I have to think that their audience probably took a hit over that. Um, there's definitely something going on. I do think that they are probably going to be absorbed into Cartoon Network studios or into uh, Elation at some point. Um, you know, there was, you know, last year, even there was a, a, another round of layoffs that people weren't talking about. They weren't talking about it. It was, uh, I guess in March, according to some of the people that worked there, you know, they came to us and said, Hey, there, there were a whole bunch of people left go in March. So we had like two rounds of layoffs. Uh, we had gray Haddock getting ousted. And, uh, now we have, uh, Joel, Joel Heyman. Joel was also ousted, but it was done on the down loan. He didn't make any any sort of big deal about it. So we're going to keep an eye on the situation over there just in general. And and, uh, you know, I guess we're kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop with Rooster Teeth. It just it, it, it does not seem to be in a very good place in terms of where they're at with Warner Brothers right now. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants and we will talk later hey guys thanks for watching clownfish tv please consider supporting the channel go to clownfishsupport.com that's clownfishsupport.com and if you want to join our community go to clownfishtalk.com that's clownfishtalk.com please subscribe ring the bell for notifications we will talk to you next time